What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about one of the Call of Duty developers finally uh, confirming that skill-based matchmaking has been in the game for a really long time. I will link this article down in the description below if you'd like to read over it for yourself. This is something all of us kind of figured. Uh, I've talked about this myself uh, for a really long time now since skill-based matchmaking has kind of become a hot topic within the Call of Duty community. I figured it had always been there. It's just not as strong as it is now. And of course, this is one of the former senior system designers. It always takes one of these former employees of Activision to ever talk about this. I think they must get in some serious trouble or get fired or whatever the case may be if they talk about this while they still work there. But he said that it has been in the game since 2007. He said COD 4 did have some skill-based matchmaking. He said all of them have. He said it's just the math and the science has gotten better over the years. So in other words, it seems like it's just kind of the, the system they use. And he said they kind of test this with bots and things, uh, uh, you know, how they decide how they're going to make the skill-based matchmaking system work. And it seems like over the years, the algorithm they use has just tightened up the skill gap, in my opinion. So it's made it to where there's not as... Uh, many players in the lobby that are, you know, a less of a skill than you are. It's going to make everyone just as good or better. And that's not a really popular thing in Call of Duty right now. People want those old style lobbies where you might get a good lobby, you might get a bad lobby. You know, you might have a lobby that's got some really sweaty people in it. You might get a lobby where you can just blow everybody out. And that's not really the case anymore in COD. He goes on to say the same thing happened with Fortnite. He said that when the game first came out, the skill-based matchmaking was there. But it was not as a tight of system as it is now. He says they have experimented with it over the years to get to the level of skill-based matchmaking they use in Fortnite to this day. He says um, he thinks it's kind of odd, and he says the system that, or the, the theory that I guess Activision and a lot of these companies go with, is players don't like you know skill-based matchmaking, but then they go play things like Valorant, you know, which is pretty much just a ranked mode. I guess you could even take the same kind of concept now for people going to play ranked Halo. But in my opinion those games are ranked when people are going in to play ranked halo when people are going in to play you know valorant they know they're going into a very competitive style multiplayer game when it comes to call of duty call of duty has always been pushed as this casual kind of game and if you want to play competitive they will have its own kind of set of rules that's why i think every year when cod is released it should have a ranked system with it or go into this kind of what these rumors have been lately of having a cod every couple years that way they can have a casual multiplayer side and then build up a ranked competitive side. That way you can have that high tuned skill based matchmaking and rank. Cause I don't think people really mind having skill based matchmaking and ranked. They just want to come home and play for an hour or two after work and unwind. They don't want to be in a lobby that is just full of sweaty players. That's just not how people like to play. He said the one thing that he does not agree with uh, nowadays with skill based matchmaking is how the system kind of picks, uh, you know, what kind of game you're gonna be put in. He says uh, developers are making a major error by finding, instead of finding a good match, it just settles for a bad one. And that has been one of my complaints. If you're going to have skill-based matchmaking, it at least needs to find a server or, you know, a, a game you're going to go into that has a good ping, you know, that's a good, smooth game for you. Because if you get placed into a skill-based match made lobby with, you know, 80, 90, 100, 200 ping, it's going to make the experience even worse. So I do agree with that part. If they're going to continue to use skill-based matchmaking, and of course we know they're going to, it at least needs to be in a better experience. But personally, in my opinion, it's nice to hear one of these developers actually confirm all the stuff we already knew, but I really do think the game needs to launch every year with a ranked mode. That way they can kind of tone it down for the more casual style players that want to play just regular Call of Duty and run around and play Team Deathmatch or whatnot. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Of course, if you'd like to hit the like, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.